Welcome back to Autolux Online. This week we're looking at the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Yes, Porsche is keeping this brand new, or not brand new, this big SUV on its table, but hey, nothing's changing up Porsche. With the introduction of the Panamera sedan and the soon to be Rockster, which is riding on the Q5 platform, the Porsche has seen that uh, if we're going to do some updating, we might as well update our best selling crazy SUV model, the Cayenne. Hey. And uh, it seems that they've added a little bit of spice to this hot pepper, even once again. Now, let's take a look at the brand new Cayenne. Up front, crazy looking thing, okay? They go with nice, smooth, round curves. They've also gone with some rough edges. But they've also gone with some different things that uh, maybe they should have. What am I talking about that they should have done? Well, hmm. let's get started. Okay, up front, Porsche has made this look more like an SUV than it did once before. Of course, they've also made it look more like a sports car. Way more like a sports car than it once was. Before, it just looked like an oversized, bulky sedan that rides a little bit above the ground. Now, they made it look like this wild, crazy-looking Porsche 911 Turbo with four doors and the ability to cruise off-road. And what makes this all happen? Well, a suspension system that moves up and down. Yeah, technology, it's a great thing. Now, up front, skid plate. Gotta have it with the great SUV. Now, moving on to the grill. This grill, great design, you know, works well with this vehicle. There's only one problem. is the way it's set up. All they are is just basic lines. Right. Line, line, line. Angle your lines you get more of an appeal out of it. You know, a cross grill or a beehive grill. A grill like this just, I don't know, really looks cheap. And with a Porsche, you can't have anything that looks cheap. Looking at your side air ducts, the same thing. Simple lines. Audi did this. This is the only problem. When Audi did it, they just did simple lines with a black space in behind it. They've done simple lines, and you can see the chrome, two chrome strips behind it, too. Okay, those chrome strips should not be there. The lines shouldn't be there. It should just be a basic grill in behind with wrap, a wrapping fog lamp. Now, lower on the table, we have their smaller fog lamp. Not the, not the greatest, not the worst, but hey, it's still kind of cool. Moving on to the hood, headlights. Headlight design is moved way forward on this design. It's so much better than the previous one. Because now it's not just this huge bubble thing kind of overtaking the front end. They've kind of gone with the 911 kind of you know, sort of a bubble, bubble with an edge to it. See, it's not just this round thing at the front, it's the curved round thing. Kind of gives it a more attitude. It would have been a lot better if they had cut this section off right here and just go with a kind of an angled line would have been, you know, let's just say, a little bit better. Hood design. Hood design is done very well. Like a Porsche, it's still going to be tapered in, but it's an SUV. You need more room for an engine in there. Because, like, you know, like a turbo, Boxster, and all that, the engine's in the rear. Well, in an SUV, you can't put it in the rear because you know, that's where your luggage has to go. You take up a lot of luggage space if you did that way. Now, this one. They have done a tapered hood. Gone in at the lights, but gone up in the center. Kind of give it a sport appeal. Kind of looks mean, rough, tough. And kind of like it's, yeah, it is a sports car. It's meant to go off-road. Along the sides, they've gone kind of simple on this. You know, they don't have see, any major feature. Nothing really. It's not the world's greatest features. Not the world's best. But it's still kind of basic. It's still kind of simple. Up top, still the same thing. There's no... Ripples in the hood and roof or anything. Now, along the side, one bad thing that they have done with this, they actually have done a horrible job in the mirrors. Like, these things are oversight. I know it's an SUV, you need big mirrors to see, you know, outside. But doing a complete circle look, everything on it is round. It's not that great. They should have done a two-bar and made it a little bit smaller, more sporty. Not, you know, here I am, a truck. I thought you were trying to make it look like a sports car built on a truck platform, not like 
a sports car with truck appeal. Now, moving out back. Oh, and as for the rims, they're simple. They're five points. Everyone uses them, but they're very well done. Very wide spaced, double color. Using black with the chrome is great. And the fact that you can see the calipers right on them just well, creates even more of a sports car. Now, out back, they've done a phenomenal job. They've made sure to keep it looking like an SUV. They've added the skid plate out back, too. Now, the bumper out back has done an awesome job. They've actually brought it down. So the rear bumper of this thing does not look way oversized. Because the number one thing you have problems with doing with SUVs and trucks is the fact that bumpers are always going to look massive. Here, they've actually dropped, down, dropped the bumper down a little bit to have more room for the hatch. It's kind of good. It's good for shorter people. You know, it's in the fact that I know some people that are shorter, shorter than me. You know, five foot high people trying to get in the back of an SUV when it's the hatch and the handle are about three and a half, four feet off the ground. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But when it comes to the Cayenne, they've actually gone with that feature. Gone away. Be all right. Now. Tail lights, they've just done one amazing job, okay? These aren't big, crazy bubble lights. These are big, crazy bubble lights with some attitude on them. They've actually gone just like the front end. Front end is kind of kind of curvy, but kind of rough. It's got those edges. It's got that mean look. They've done the same thing in the back. See, it's nice and round, but it's also got those hard edges, those curves, this badass attitude. You know, the problem with the back end is they still got this top grill. This top grill, top grill, top spoiler isn't the world's greatest. It kind of, um, you know, yeah, it adds to the sport appeal, but it also takes it away. Because if you didn't have that, it wouldn't be as good because of the fact that it would just curve around like the existing Cayenne. Now, they have done the dual exhaust. Now, the dual exhaust is just amazing. Why? Well, it's Cayenne. It's a Porsche. It has power. It has balls. It wants to go off-road. It doesn't got a turbocharged V8. Okay? It wants to go fast. And to get rid of all that heat, you need a big exhaust. And Porsche's done it. The only thing that's kind of off on the back end here are reflective lights on the side. They're just kind of weird. Why do you need them on the side? I don't know. Think about that. The only other added feature to the rear end of this thing that kind of draws the eye away from the whole back end, kind of stands out a bit, is the chrome strip at the bottom of the tailgate. I mean, you don't have to opt for this, but it's one of those things that you know, kind of sets it apart. It doesn't look that bad, but it could be done better. Now, overall, out of this thing, out of 10, I'm giving a Porsche. Well, for in the SUV market, it's getting a 9. The only reason why it doesn't get a perfect 10 if they hadn't gone with such a weird looking front grill, let's take a look at this thing. This, you know, lined grill, then it would have been so much better. Without that grill, maybe like a beehive or an angle line or something else, it would have looked so much better. Even if they brought the lines closer together, it would have been so much better. Besides that, there's nothing much else you can say that's really bad with the Porsche Cayenne Turbo this time. When you want to get your jam your kids to school about 100 miles an hour, hey, Cayenne's going to be your SUV. If you want to go sand dune riding, Porsche Cayenne's going to be one of those things you want. Now, you know, the problem with the Porsche Cayenne that I've always found is kind of diminishes the brand of Porsche. Why? Well, you got to think Porsche, sports cars, fast. Yeah, the Cayenne kind of meets that, but it also says, hey, we want to build grocery grabbing cars too. We want to keep all those moms and dads happy that have kids. I know it kind of keeps dad in the house so he doesn't take off on a Porsche and some young blonde. But you know what? Seriously, I still don't think it belongs. For this week at Auto Looks, let's just say SUVs and sports cars don't really go along. You know, sports cars and sedans, they can go along. 